Hello, how are you doing? My name is Craig Mount with Gar Pro Insurance Services. What I want to demonstrate for you today and answer the question is the, one of the most common questions I get, and that is what is the cost for the Joe liability coverage, especially if I'm a new business startup or just looking to get licensed by the state. So I want to show you two scenarios. Uh, one's going to be for 100% unarmed operations. Uh, that's going to be a lesser premium. And the other is going to be for if you have any type of firearms associated uh, with your operations at all. Um, and I'll show you both scenarios. Um, let's go first to the unarmed. If you're 100% unarmed, uh, your estimated premium is going to be approximately, this is just an example, it's not set in stone, it's approximately about $5,500 annually. Taxes and fees on these policies typically run about $675, and your agency fee is $750. So that is going to be your total cost for the year. I don't need to collect that all at once. I need to collect the deposit. In this scenario, it would be $2,800, uh, which that is, is it's 25% of the pure premium and then 100% of the taxes and fees. So 25% of 5,500 is $1,375. And those taxes and fees added up together is $1,425, and that gives you the $2,800. Uh, so that's what you need to put as a deposit. The remainder would be financed and paid in 10 monthly installments. Again, a sample of unarmed. Uh, now move to the armed premium, a sample for armed. Uh, it is $7,000 annually. Your taxes and fees is $850, and agency fee is $750. That gives you a total deposit of roughly 3,350. So 25% of the premium of 7,000 is 1,750. Those taxes and fees uh, combined is 1,600. That gives you that 3,350. Again, we finance the remainder for you after the deposit is made. So the policy, uh, if you wanna dive deep beyond the premium, the policy, what it consists of, this is a tailor-made policy for the guard industry. That means it's going to grow as your company grows. Uh, it's going to protect the typical claims we see within this industry that is unique to the industry. So the limits are $2 million, $1 million. Uh, Your state or your licensing board may require less. Um, even if we were to lower the limits, you'd be paying the same premium. So these are the premiums that we always quote. We don't lower, we don't lower the limits. Uh, this is based on 7,500 guard hours. Your minimum premiums typically for any guard company that is billing less than 7,500 uh, guard hours annually. Um, and most importantly, what you're gonna get with this, the endorsements. Like I said, the endorsements are gonna be your care cuts control, your errors and emissions, your assault and battery, punitive damages, blanket additional insureds. These are all coverages and endorsements you're gonna need to properly run your business and protect your business. Exclusions. Every policy has exclusions. You're going to be, no matter what policy you bind, you're going to want to be made aware of what type of call. The typical exclusions I see are going to be crowd control, sexual assault and molestation, bars, nightclubs, uh, public housing, government housing. Every policy, like I said, has exclusions. You just want to make sure you're aware of what type of contracts your policy will not cover. Uh, and again, most importantly is as your company grows, your contracts in your company are going to require uh, more insurance to meet contract requirements. Um, these, it's simple to get up to 5 million for an umbrella. We can get as high as you need to go, 25 million, but uh, 5 million uh, is a very uh, easy limit for us to get quoted and, and provide for you. Uh, workers' compensation and all within the United States. Uh, commercial auto coverage, if you have one uh, vehicle fleet, or 2,000 vehicle fleet, we can get that done for you. And as your company grows, you're gonna need additional insurance, uh, health insurance for your employees, a 401k, life insurance, uh, personal insurance, your home auto, whatever you need to properly protect your employees, your company, and your clients. Um, so that should give you a really good idea of what to expect as far as cost. Of course, every company is different and the cost and the premiums will be determined by your specific operations. But I hope you found this helpful and it's a starting point for you. Thank you for your time.